All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of God of War Ragnarok. I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. Now we're going to go let How Does Feeny know that we let Skull and, and Hattie, we got them freed and working again. And that happened in the last episode. Uh, Kratos and Atreus got that done. And now we're on our way back to, uh, I guess, Freyr's camp. This place changes at night. A lot. No and we have the ability... <laughs> we have the ability now to change day and night, so... That will open up new areas for us. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's a... There we go. Yep. I love the spear. Very eager. Liking you less now. Ah. Got me a bugger. I forgot which way we're heading. Let's see what's going on. Oh, this was okay. That was the Nornir chest that we opened up last episode. So let's keep moving. Yeah, we are definitely coming up toward the uh, latter part of the game now. Things are moving along nicely. And, yeah, this is another dead end in our chest. We'll be headed to uh, Asgard soon for the inevitability of Ragnarok. A little more, buddy. There we go. Finish him off. Ooh, for her. Oh, she's armless now. <laughs> no. They come back fast. Not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, that's still locked off. Are we can fight him. We've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should they come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. It would be badass, but yeah. Alright, well I know this is the last of the Norse Saga games, and... It's bittersweet because the, the two games have been fantastic. Um, this one, they jammed a lot into it, you know. Ah, crap. I hate these damn things. Boom! Go ahead and get as much damage as we can on this guy. All right, he's going into the water. Oh! Try and get a few more spears into him. Ah. 
One down. Ah! Well, that hurt. And you're dead. Come on, Atreus, finish him off. Perfect. That's how we do it. All right, let's gather up some goodies from that. That was a fight. Artillery of the Ancients. Ah. Okay, so I like this uh, attack. And we can upgrade the Blades of Chaos. That's fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and get that equipped because that's a good one. Artillery of the Ancients. And we'll go ahead and upgrade it one shot at least. We can get now we have a heavy runic attack. Check this out. I love this. Oh. I'm sorry, Atreus. So yeah, it just it will fill the enemy with spears too. They'll stick to them, so you'll be able to uh, ignite them afterward and do you know just that much more damage, which is awesome. We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not going to stop searching for masterpieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that That's right. All the answers, then it will surely exact a price. <laughs> Wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes. That's uh, right. There are no shortcuts. My father told me that when I was a kid. Come on, open up. I know you want to open up. There you go. All right. All the plants you want to kill us? No, no. Only the canopsis ones. <laughs> yeah, not all of them, just most of them. So this is an area that opened up. See this? That's an area that opened up when we changed it to nighttime. So we are treading in unknown territory right now, which is kind of cool. A little cave over there. I believe there's a box over here that we already opened. this spot okay we're almost back at the camp come on Atreus run boy Who's that? ah that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka she's a blossinder hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities you'll love her <laughs> That's when we got the ball for. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bale has already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. All right, so we got another situation. We I'll be right there. 
I'll be right there for you. So we got another situation where we get separated again from Atreus. This will be of use. But now, what you need now, let's go ahead and upgrade this puppy. Blades coming up. We're almost level six. Uh, I don't think we can do the pommels we're using. Nope. I'll buy the next. Nope. Getting the road or chewing the fat? Oh, we're chewing the fat for a minute, but we're going to check our armor real quick here. Mm. This is actually a pretty good armor. But we're going to stick with... We're going to stick with what we've got right now. Although I like Lunda's too. You know what? We're going back to Lunda's. Oh yeah, we can upgrade that now too. Cool. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. I hope so. Alright, so we're a solid level 6 now. Let's make something then. We have a resurrection stone. An accessory. None of these are upgradable. Okay. Uh, her sword's good. Shield. All right. We got more lip flapping to do or no? No, we're pretty solid, bro. All right, so let's go on out of here. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Ainhar Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Fear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves, and now we have just the scepter to do it. That's right. Oh, look at that. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Solid plan. That's the way. Ah! Wisps. Always annoying. Looks like something's been dragged through here, doesn't it? Oh, look at this. We got us a ghost. Oh, nope, not a ghost. Try this on her. Yeah. Good night. Little overkill there, but why not? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I thought she had already hit it. Okay. Yep, I do love that spear attack, boy. 
doesn't have a cool name like Thrust of a Thousand Soldiers, but it's still pretty damn good. You didn't hear that, Freya. Ah. Damn it. And to get those nasty plants up there and everything. Get up there? No. Hey, I have the thrust of a thousand soldiers. Enemy behind you, Kratos. Not for long. I hate those stupid wolves. Werewolves. No. God. Oh my God, he's tormenting me. All right, one's down. The other one's not very happy about it. Oh, he's down too. Yeah, hey, how'd you like that, buddy? A little juggling. Soldiers since our last visit. Mm. Our disadvantages are many. That they are. All right. Well, let's see if we got any little health baubles around or anything we can pick up here. Uh, nope. Nothing. Oh, here we go. Time to boogie on. Let's go, Freya. Sounds like there's two of them. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, he's dead. Let's finish him off. Awesome. All right, so this is all blocked off here, but if memory serves, we get to use our little toy here. Yeah, I didn't trust him. Yep, here's where we can use the toy. These are the altars that I was talking about last episode. All right, we're going to try that.
Yeah, we are actually making decent time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of Atreus. Pop in there. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable, but we have changed. Perhaps. <laughs> yep. Right off the edge. Cleaved her right in the Nora back. said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but have we all <laughs> just established her prophecy as pure havers? God's the mirror. What? The most annoying man alive. Oh. Hey, one for you. He wouldn't be around there, Freya. Bone, steel, and hack silver. Perfect. Alright, so what do we got going on here? We got that purple crap. Let's see what's over this way first. Goodbye, plant. I think this is a... Yeah, that was a chest. Okay. So got us a dead end here, so we're going to need to freeze these. And that's how that's done. Oh, sorry about that, darling. I heard it. Where was it? There you are. Yeah, just like Atreus said, does every plant here want to kill us? Alright, got chest, dead end. Head this way. More up ahead. On your mark. Bifrost above you! Your toast. Where are you going, buddy? Okay, it sounds like he's having a rough time down there. Alright, he's toast. They're all toast. I guess that's... Oh. Yeah. Alright, let's pull this open. The Einhorn Jar. Hey, wait a minute. We need you to shoot that.
Is this? Yeah, here he is. So this is a boss here. He doesn't come across as much of a boss, but he's a. You got me. Damn. Oh, you're toast, dude. That's right. Let one. Don't remember if he was protecting anything over here. Narc's cup. Ah, okay. I don't know what that resource is going to do, but hey, what the heck. Why not? And I know we got some leveling up to do. We haven't done that for quite some time. But let's move on for now. We've got somebody's brother to rescue. Oh, the knee hug. God, that what? thing was awful. No knee hug. It was in our way. I, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the world tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neath hope protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. <laughs> Classic. All right, you ready? Just make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I have not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. Finally admits it. There's an altar behind these vines. Yes, there is. Do your magic. And I'll do mine. Call on Skull, please. <coughs> and we're going to do that, but we're going to do that with the next episode, and we're going to see how this rescue goes. So if you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of when the next video is released. And don't forget to leave a like on the video. It's a great help. Thank you for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. I will see you next time. Until then, peace.